Hi, today we're going to look at Geoffrey Bergen's amazing theme, Aslan's theme from the BBC Chronicles of Narnia. Hi, I'm Ewan and welcome back to a very wintry, cold Matchbox studio today. The other day I was thinking to myself, I really remember this amazing programme, this series that used to be on when I was a child and I sort of decided to look it up and I thought, The Chronicles of Narnia, how old is that? Because I remember several series of that being on BBC. It was a big flagship series, it was a very high budget epic and I thought, that theme, that main theme is going around my head over and over again. So I looked it up online and lo and behold, guess what? The 13th of November 1988 is the anniversary of its very first episode. And lo and behold, it is that very same date as the time of recording. So I thought, well, let's have a look at those themes. Let's investigate some of the harmonies and let's use BBC Symphony Orchestra to try and bring about a reproduction of that theme as I remember it. So over in Logic, I have created a very simple, very uh, sort of cut down version really uh, using various orchestrations and then using the Stream Deck was able to put in a MIDI note command to change those key switches. <laughs> This was performed by ear using all the favourite instruments. I really enjoyed hearing that French horn just soaring above all the other instruments. So I used the combination of solo and full ensembles in the strings. Let's have a look at the strings and see how we broke it down. So the strings were very simply broken down into all their component parts, firsts, seconds, violas, celli and basses. And if you can see over here, I've just amalgamated all the different parts, but as you can see all the different harmonies harmonies are very very nice it was a really nice experience to be able to look at how the harmonies that supported the main melody were put together but if I have a look down this screen here you can see that I've got some of those key switches which I've put down between the sort of C and uh, minus two octave range right the way up so it really used uh, nine different semitones to change these i was able to then record and play and change between these so if we look specifically at for example the violin line so if i load up the violin you can see that we've got long legatos and then we went into short staccatos supported by the key switch change and then lastly into legato so if i was to score this part this would be a much easier process for me to be able to turn this into notation changing from 
the legato or the long sounds to the staccato or short and detached sounds as well. Below here I've got some nice modulation to try and arch some of the dynamic range for this and it was really nice to be able to control this quite nicely as well. So I did that for all of the five different uh, string parts as well. Now also I added some woodwind, I added some flutes and some clarinet solos and also because I quite like the sound in the staccato I also added in some clarinets adding in some staccato lines as well. well. Playing legato sounds. Again, supported by the legato key switch as well. So you might be wondering, what is a Stream Deck? I've used this in many, many videos and I've actually got Stream Deck tutorials, one of which I will link in the top right of the video and also down in the description below. So do check out that video. It's a really good way to use this in terms of, mainly I use it for Spitfire audio libraries, but you can use it for any library that uses key switching and you can then tell it. So if you look over my shoulder, you'll be able to see that I've got here a nice, template that I've set up complete with images too and if I go over to the computer then I can actually show you if I open up the plugin and I can actually do that it will open up the plugin on the screen I can then activate the chain link as well so I can then cycle between all the tracks and then be able to keep those plugins open. We can then have a look at some of the brass. So the brass was really nice because I wanted to add some extra interest over the strings as well. So if I just show you the strings and the brass just at the beginning here, just halfway through the melody. <laughs> So again, shaping that with, again, the modulation, just brazing and lowering those dynamics. These are such fantastic things. And, and the more you can become musical with your input with the technology, the more musical the sound will be. Jeffrey Bergen is no longer with us, but he did leave an absolute legacy of music behind him. So if you wanted to check out some of his film scores, you might have checked him out some Monty Python films that he's also scored. He's also done some Charles Dickens adaptations, such as Martin Chuzzlewit and other things that he was a prolific composer you'll notice that I'm using some different views and things again the app that I'm using is completely mobile and if you want to know how I do that then you can have a look for that in the description below as well but much further ado let us carry on so we're going next to the woodwind I've touched briefly on the woodwind already but I wanted to add in some oboe and bassoon as well some juicy bass clarinet especially around this section here Okay, so hopefully you can really hear how that really changed the tone of that particular section of the music. It was really nice to sort of recreate the structure of this as well. It had a really nice kind of very simple theme, you know, when you had that departure from the main melody and then it returns triumphantly toward the end. And I wanted to really symbolize that with some strong brass. So if I just, again, just show you when it comes back in. wanted to make sure that I could do it some justice as well as try and bring something else that I could hear in my head that I was singing all these days ago where I was thinking what is that I need to find out more about it so basically that's it for me a really short video this week but I'm basically thank you very much for all of you who have stuck with me over the past few years many many more videos to come make sure that you hit subscribe and please do hit like if you've enjoyed any part of this video as well I'm Ewan and if you want to make your music masterpiece then consider supporting me my Patreon supporters have been really, really supportive, as well as I've got some training as well that's also live too. So check out the links below for all sorts of options and opportunities that will come your way. And until next time, I've been you and thanks very much for watching the video and I'll see you next time.
Bye for now.